Hello friends of terrain building and welcome to another Middle Earth terrain building tutorial. Today I want to finish my Halls of Erebor table with the second tutorial and for that I will show you how I built this gold melt. I use different materials and different techniques. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. After a few construction steps, the melt looks like this. You can also see the pins at the top because the glue on the small decorations is still drying. The core, melt, the core of the melt is an octagon with side walls about 1 cm thick, which are cut to ferment. The side walls have three different designs. Firstly, this side with a large opening at the top and an opening at the bottom, from which the liquid gold will later flow out. Facing upwards, the same opening is cut into all eight walls. Then there are four times the same side walls with two more holes in them. In the middle, air should be able to flow in and at the bottom, these typical blower tubes. 
in addition to the top opening, the other three side walls have another one underneath to which a staircase is to be glued so that new wood can be thrown onto the fire inside from there. The side walls then alternate. In the next steps, the stairs are glued on and the base is glued under the entire melt. The drain for the liquid gold is also built. As always, you can see these steps in time lapse. I would like to quickly show you how I want to make the whole terrain a bit more unusual. I got some nice support from the cobalt nest for this. These are trolleys, some of them are filled with gold nuggets and some of them are empty. I want to use them to create a transportation system using a cable pull in the air that leads over all the pillars, the entrance gate and to the melt. But first I want to finish the melt and then focus on these trolleys after that later on.
the melt is ready and could be placed on the table as it is. But as announced, I would like to use the trolleys as an addition to the terrain. To do this, I'm using a simple decorative chain in addition to the 3D printed parts. It's not an expensive chain, but a fairly, fairly inexpensive one. But I like the size of the links. I will cut off pieces of these and attach them to the trolleys so that they can be hung on the chain hoist. I want to use the remaining wheels to better represent transportation via the chain hoist. I also have some rings that will be attached to the pillars and will later hold these chain hoists. Once these steps have been completed, I'll show you the finished melt. Here you can see the finished melt of the Erebor. Some parts are not firmly glued to make storage easier. I used an anti-slip carpet pad for these air openings. It worked really well and I like it very much as a metal grid. At the top you can see the eyelet for the chain hoist and on the side the drain for the gold is still missing but there is no space for it on the turntable. You'll see that in a separate video. And after that, you'll see my finished terrain table of Erebor.